Hi, Ada Sparks here with a word of hope. Coming to you from my guest bathroom. Not where I normally talk to you from, but I just want to show it off for a second. Isn't it beautiful? I have this great picture here of my husband reading to the children and a flower arrangement that I put together. You can kind of see the back here. And I decorated this bathroom in all peacock feathers because my sister knows I like peacock feathers and she always gives me all these gifts with peacock feathers. So when we built our house, I had to have a place to put all these things. So I decided why not put them all in this guest bathroom because they're so beautiful. And I have this giant peacock feather right here in the shower curtain, <laughs> isn't it great? Well, as beautiful as it is the last few weeks, well, we have been in lockdown quarantine. Every time we walk by this bathroom, there was just the worst odor. And we all know what kind of odors come from a bathroom. But the thing is, nobody had been in the bathroom. And so we kept coming in here and like, has anybody been in the bathroom? Nope. I washed the shower curtain. I washed the rugs, I scrubbed the floors, I scrubbed the counters, the mirror. We went over every inch in here. And still, the odor would come back. We could not figure out what the smell was coming from. I bleached everything again, and the odor would come back. And we just couldn't figure it out. We checked everything out outside of the bathroom, inside the bathroom, the ceiling, the walls, everything. We could not figure out where the smell was coming from. I prettied it up, I burned candles, I did plug-ins. Nothing would get rid of the smell. Finally today, my husband realized maybe there's something in the sewage. So he went outside and he dug a little deeper. Turned out way, way, way deep in the plumbing outside. There was something that needed to just move on down the pipes. Something had to be gotten rid of. You couldn't see it from the outside. Everything looked beautiful. But there was something going on underground that was wafting up. And even though it was beautiful, there was something stinky going on. All we had to do was get rid of it. And now this beautiful bathroom smells beautiful again. You know, there's a scripture about that. It says in 1 John, one and nine. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to clean us from our unrighteousness. Maybe there's something that you have going on way deep down. Maybe nobody knows about, but it's tainting your beauty, what God designed you to be. You just need to move it on down the line and get rid of it, because eventually you're gonna stink. Get rid of it, he'll forgive you. There's your word of hope, tales from the toilet. God bless, be wise, not afraid. See you next week with a word of hope.